Hello. Good morning. Just got up. Mm. Kind of chilly, so I had a jacket on. I want to go smoke. But, um, denial of the truth causes cyclicity. <laughs> All right. What I'm saying is this. No matter how much you believe a lie, want to believe a lie, and make yourself believe a lie, you're going to keep going into cycles of life with yourself, relationships, friends, family, children, parents. As long as you keep trying to make the same lie make sense. Or the same, it makes sense because it makes dollars, but at the same time, do it make do it make happy meal. You know what I'm saying? Do it make happy meal. <laughs> so, basically, until you accept the truth, you keep going in cycles of repetition. You have a, life is a spring. You can squish that spring down. Just go in the same circle again and again and again. Or you can expand it, stretch yourself, and then go from bottom to top, top to bottom. Or you can go in a circle. At least it's different. But even when you go in a circle, though, there's more simplicity. <laughs> So how do you break free from simplicity? Simplicity. Well, simple. Believe not in any beginning, or of any beginning. That's it. Because when you believe in the beginning, you re you think it's for a reason, for some ultimate reason. But if there's no beginning. You realize there's no ultimate reason for anything. Not everything has a reason and purpose. Not everyone has a reason and purpose. I hate to say that, but it's true. Unless that person's reason and purpose is not for themselves. But so I guess you could say everyone has a reason and purpose. But that's not necessarily true of somebody who's on <laughs> some place in some place where it's just them it's their reason and purpose other than selfish reasons unless you were by yourself you're not selfish you're not the way anyone say to you you're not manipulative and conniving all you are you're not an opportunist you're just enjoying the moment Don't feel ashamed to enjoy the moment. Just had a dream. <laughs> All right. And in this dream, I went to meet up with someone. And I was like, wow, this house is nice. I was like, man, we not making enough money. You know, but, um, <laughs> and he was going to school me on how to make more money. And when you first go in, you see the people with the money. You see all the cats with the money. And they chilling, you know. And then he took me to this place down, walking down. And it was slummy. And it was like water leaking everywhere and everything. The bed pretty much was a hole inside of a piece of concrete. <coughs> But he said, this is where you got to start off. To let me know. To let me know beginnings. Ain't supposed to be pretty. But it's the thing. He was different than the other, than the other cast that was all nice and fresh. They were just chilling, dressed up like of the time. But he was of a, a different time and he was in all this stuff like that. He wasn't like putting on a show. It was more like in the way you could feel bad for him because he forgot to enjoy it. Like, unless he enjoyed it already. The lifestyle of having money. <clears throat> Realize, hey, he can show somebody else how to have money. I guess he said he made enough. But either way it go, when I went to the slum. Some guy, some white guy came through, said, I've been here for the longest. 
for a longer time. When are you going to put me out? When are you going to put me on? And in the dream was like, he told him, he said, he don't want, that man don't want to got enough because he started looking like the situation, Bunny, like the area. And he told me, he didn't really say nothing, but he, he let me, it's like he, he taught me by allowing him, the other guy to come and interject that I ain't got to stay down there unless I want to. You ain't got to stay in hell unless you want to. You always rise above the flame. So where you go when you rise above the flame, just leave. Don't worry about where you're going. Stay focused on where you come from. For the sake of remembering who you could be at any given moment. I know that somebody's answering, but I know it means something to somebody out there.